certainly takes Nicole Wallace back. She's our newest political analyst. You saw her portrayed by Sarah Paulson yeah. right there in Game Change. Uh, My PTSD is kicking in. I'm not sure it is. But, but, but try to go back for a second. You and I have both been inside those debate right. camps. Bring people inside Mitt Romney's room this weekend. Well, look, physically it looks exactly like the actual debate. They set up the podiums. They, they get out a tape measure, and they, they make sure they're, they're exactly the way they're going to be on debate night. Uh, Portman, Rob Portman is playing Obama. He's an eerily uh, precise Obama. He played Obama for And he played John Obama McCain for John McCain. Ago. And I spent more time with Rob Portman as Obama than I did with Rob Portman, the senator we all know. But wh what's so interesting to me about this debate is that both men have a monumental undertaking for this first debate. One of them has to come off as nicer and less arrogant than he really is. And the other That's one the has president. to come across as more normal and less awkward and strange as he really and is. And you talk about President Obama coming off as more nicer and less arrogant. He does get irritable uh, in these debates, and that's what his team is prepping him for. They want him to stay kind of patient. Right, right. And, and, and just think about that for a second. They're asking both men to be someone they're not, and that's what makes the debate so dramatic, because really what, what we're all waiting for, what we're all watching for, is a moment when, when the real man breaks out. But more pressure on Mitt Romney in this debate. If you could say what is his number one goal for this debate, it is? Romney needs to have a moment like what some of us saw this week when Bill Clinton introduced him and, and he had this self-deprecating, humorous, normal moment where, where his humanity shone through. He needs to try to do the impossible. He needs to try to orchestrate a moment where he can create that in a, in a way that seems and feels spontaneous and natural, near impossible. <laughs> it's very hard. Okay, Nicole Wallace, thanks very much. We're going to talk about this and all the week's politics Sunday on This Week, our Powerhouse Roundtable, and our headliner, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie.